Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back in the workshop today with another video for you. Um, we are going to be building a simple piece of framework out of 20mm box section, 2.5mm wall. Uh, nice easy one today, so let's get straight into it. So, just finished cutting the metal for the frame. Uh, consists of six pieces, so four horizontals and then two lengths. Uh, the lengths are 1400s, and then I've got four pieces at 690mm. Uh, it doesn't have to be, well, it is millimeter accurate, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, gonna clean this up now, just so it's ready to weld, and then we'll go, we'll sit on this table, we'll use our fixture holes and our fixture table to jig this up and keep it all flat whilst I weld it. So, to finish off the prep work, I am going to mark where my weld seam is and just grind these in their areas. I always do this, big mistake, I lay it all out perfectly, square it or make sure it's flat and then realise I haven't ground off the mill scale in the areas I want to weld. So, I'm going to look at the drawing quickly, just mark my centres and then grind 20mm either side of it, just so that's all clean uh, for when we dig it up. So let's take a look how I'm actually going to fixture this and keep it flat and square. A really simple thing but something that I've always struggled with, hence why I've got this fixture table. So simply I've got a right angle set fixture square and I'm going to do eat one corner at a time. My table is a metre square and this part's over about 1400 in length so it's always going to overhang. So I'm going to have to be a bit creative, it'd be lovely if you had a massive table, which some people do. I'm limited on space so... I will make do with what I've got. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go corner at a time, just jigging it, attack, tack it all up, flip it, and then I'll hold it down as much as I can, check it's all in place, and then weld it out. So yeah, it's not always perfect, so it's good that you guys see this, and actually that I haven't got a perfect setup, and I will make compromise and yeah, adjustments where needed.
So my tip for the video I'm throwing in here is to take your time, getting yourself comfortable, getting yourself set up, getting your arms in a nice position before you start welding. It's so easy just to rush it and hold your arm floating and it's a good skill to have for those awkward jobs but if you can, take your time because I promise you the weld will come out nicer, you feel more comfortable, it's a lot better overall. Um, just, just to avoid rushing really, like I say if you want quality work it takes time. Uh, very rarely can you have high quality work in a short rush job so take your time and that is my tip for this video. So, the finished product, this 1400 by 730 I want to say, frame, all finished up, let's have a look round as we should at the welds, but yeah, that is a wrap for this one. Right guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you've all enjoyed it. We have finished off this frame. I know it was a quick one today, but I wanted to keep the, the content coming, show you a bit of what's going on in the workshop. Um, some other videos are in the works. I've got an awful vice that is absolutely knackered that I'm trying to restore, and um, hopefully a few other projects along the way. But let me know what you guys want to see, whether you want to see a workshop tour, um, the workshop any specific tools or just a, a how-to video let me know in the comments below but uh, aside from that drop a like and if you're feeling any kinder subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one take it easy